quadriplegic sailor who was the first to actually uh, cross the Atlantic. That was in January 2010. Well, the lucky Ben Moore went on board and joined Jeff as he uh, paraded in front of the Queen yesterday. As the ominous dawn clouds gather over Canary Wharf, one small boat from the south is setting off very early for her date with the Queen. And it was lucky to be one of the chosen few that are, are part of this. And being able to bring them a family, to share it with friends as well, it's going to be a great day. Before other boats have stirred, Wet Wheels has to cover the entire pageant route in reverse to Chiswick to pick up Jeff's special guests. Welcome on board. Thank you very much. You're... Today, disabled youngsters have a front row seat to the biggest Thames pageant in more than two centuries. With someone like Craig to feel like a part, a part of this, it allows them to be aware of exactly what's going on today. He's already waving at people now. <laughs> Wet Wheels is part of the motorboat class in the flotilla and has to stay in strict formation the whole seven miles of the route. We're just on our way into London now, about five miles to go, but as you can see, there are four rows of boats and we're in the first one, which means we'll go directly past the Queen. As we come into London, the rain starts, but a mere 10 hours after setting off, it's our turn to file past the Royal Barge. Brilliant. We were cold, wet, got drain rats, but we were absolutely having a brilliant time. Really enjoyed it. I don't know if she recognised us, but she certainly gave us a nice big wave. It's fantastic. It's pouring with rain. It's miserable and cold, but... We're British and we're having a lovely time, and uh, this is what it's all about. Ben Moore, BBC South Today, on the River Thames. <laughs> what a day they had on the Thames. It was truly tremendous, wasn't it? Great to watch on Thames.